Just for some context for our viewers, how much of a gap was created by the withdrawal of funding by the United States? Rofiwa, good afternoon to you and your, your, your viewers and, and listeners. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Well, that's precisely the information, unfortunately, I can't give now. That's why I'm appointing uh, this uh, working group because I just need this working group uh, to do a number of things. Mm. Uh, to actually collect the information uh, so that we have got much more reliable uh, information as to how are we actually affected about this. Otherwise, if, we, if I say something now, I really would be second guessing. I have no idea because we've decided uh, for these reasons, you know, that as Minister of uh, Science, Technology and Innovation, I need to have an exact sense of how much research monies in particular are going to be negatively affected. Mm -hmm. And also um, the, the, the abrupt nature of some of these withdrawals also needs to be assessed as to what impact they are likely to have mm -hmm. on okay. South African research. That's why then I thought we need to establish this, this group in order to be able to tell me. And I want them to do uh, quite this, to do this work quite uh, efficiently and quickly, you know, because I expect at least a report, uh, if I'm able to, as I'm hoping to announce the names of the people to actually start by next week or so, then I expect by the end of June to be that they give me a, a, a report as to what the situation looks like and what needs to be done. 